just thought I'd make a short video on something kind of funny that I found on eBay. Uh, this is a small DC to DC converter that I was uh, buying from a seller in China. And since they take typically about a month to deliver uh, via boat, I believe, um, I thought, eh, I'll add a couple things to my order. So I added a Bluetooth adapter. I figured, what the hell, my Hackintosh doesn't have a Bluetooth adapter. Um, this one looks fancy with its antenna. And I then eh, what the hell. So I added it in. It was, I believe, $2. And I got it, and I started playing with it, and I'm like, this does not, this does not seem right. Now, this particular one is not supported by Mac OS. It shows up, but there's no drivers for it. Um, supposedly the $4 ones use a controller that actually does show up in Mac OS. But what's funny about this thing is I figured what the hell, let's open it up and see how they did this antenna. Hang on. This takes a second. I don't care if I break this. Look. The antenna is just a piece of plastic. It doesn't do anything. There is no antenna. The antenna, well, no separate antenna. The antenna, antenna is on the PCB. It is just a trace on the circuit board. There you go, a little squiggly line. Uh, this is actually very standard on um, small uh, USB adapters. Almost every single USB adapter I've seen has this uh, arrangement, and it works fairly well. But <laughs> they've built this giant case with this antenna, and it's all a lie. This is just a standard little itty bitty USB Bluetooth controller. I have, I don't know why they would do that. It's not like they're charging more for this. I could understand if they charged like an extra couple dollars over a regular Bluetooth controller, but because then they could rip you off and say, "Oh look, it's fancy big high gain antenna or something," but. They're adding all this plastic and the, all the steps in manufacturing for what? Uh, they could have just put plastic over this and it would be done and cheaper. I I, I don't get it. It it it, <laughs> it is a weird weird product. You can see just how bad the soldering job is on the USB connector. Uh, it's just a small uh, generic controller. It does detect in uh, Windows. Uh, Windows loads up a generic Bluetooth driver and it actually supposedly works, although I didn't really bother testing it. <laughs> yeah, amazing. They, they add all this crap to it for nothing. And it's just, it, it, it's even bigger than a regular USB control, uh, Bluetooth controller. You can get ones that are just slightly bigger than the connector. Because they actually put the circuit board in where this white plastic tab is. So the main PCB is actually located in here. And then they just have a small little antenna part sticking out. But, <laughs> ugh. Die.